What is going on guys? My name is Moto and today you're going to be watching some Max vs. ATV Supercross Encore here today on my channel. Uh, now today this is going to be a new series that I'm starting up called Storytime with Moto. If you have any suggestions for different names, uh, shoot them towards me in the comments section as this is just the best name that I kind of know. Um, and the first story that we're going to dive into today is going to be how I broke my left knee racing motocross. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So um, anyway, uh, first thing I want to tell you guys about this is that uh, I had just gotten a brand new 2012 Kawasaki KX250F, the bike that I still ride today, and all of that good stuff. Uh, I hadn't raced in about three years, so we were planning on going to a little local race that really meant nothing in reality. Like there was no reason to be, to be any seriousness towards towards it at all. Like it was literally like worth nothing so we were just going out there to to one get get my feet in the water again and, and get my toes in and and, and get back into racing uh, except on a, on a bigger level because obviously I'm on the 250F um, so we go out to this this local track called Haspen Acres in Indiana uh, I've been back there since uh, still an alright track um, I can't really say it's very good because of what happened but anyway uh, we get there early and our, our goal is to race at night and then and then Stay there and then rate their ride all day next uh, the next day because it's like an open rack that people can, can ride and race on so anyway um we go out there and, and, and nightfall comes and, and we're racing on the super cross track they have a super cross and a national track we're racing on the super cross track and uh so what ends up happening is we do two motos uh because i'm in two classes the, it was, the first motos went by really well got whole shot in both classes and, and Pulled a little bit, and I think I won schoolboy, and then I choked the other class. Uh, I think it was 250 something. I think it was 250C. It might have, yeah, I think it was 250C, just because it was my first race back, really on on the bike at all, or even in general. Um, so it was 250C, and and I ended up getting second in 250C, but hole shotted really, really fast, and, and it was really good. So. Uh, right after my 250C moto, it went to 250A or 250B, one of the two, and a guy crashed really, really, really hard to the point where he had to go to the hospital. Really, really bad incident. Not fun at all to watch. Uh, we realized that the medical staff there was um, composed of a bunch of idiots, um, that had no idea what they were doing, and that was just fantastic to know. Uh, so already at that point, my dad was trying to get us to pack up the bikes and, and just, you know, you know, just head out of there, take our losses and, and go because because we didn't want it to be too dangerous. But my sister and I uh, were both adamant on staying because we wanted to race really bad. We were having a great time. We were out there racing and, and hadn't done it in so long. And my dad was like, fine, that's fine. Whatever. You guys, you guys can, can do that. And I hadn't. I had that mindset back then, and I was like, oh gosh, that's terrifying, what if that happens to me? And then, no, oh, it'll be, I'll be okay, as long as I ride my own races, it's gonna be alright. We go out and line up for 250C again, uh, gate drops, pull the whole shot, really nice race, and, uh, there's a jump on the track, it, that I, the best way I could describe it is two tabletops, like really small tabletops, like this one right up here, this one right here, two of these, uh, lined up back to back, but the gap was huge, and it was a massive booter. Um, so it, it was kind of weird. Um, I, I didn't hit it that day because I, was, I just wasn't comfortable hitting it. Um, so regardless, I, I was rolling at every race, and I managed to get second place because of how quick I was overall on the track anyway. Um, so we go ahead, and, and we're riding, and it's, it's a great, great time, having an awesome time racing. Um, first lap goes around, I rolled it, and, and the guy passed me, which is fine, uh, the dude was, that, that's expected, everybody else was pretty much hitting it besides me, um, so, we get around there, I get, I'm in second place, um, and at this point, I've got a 125 ahead of me, and then a 250 right behind me, and, and so we go around another lap, and I roll over the jump again, and I felt like the dude behind me on the 250 hit it, and I knew he hit it, actually. I, I already knew he hit it. But I thought that he was directly behind me. So I moved over to my right, which just so happened to be actually exactly where he was. So what ended up happening is when I rolled over the first one, I, I was fine. And I moved over to roll over the second one. And he had jumped it directly behind me. 
and he ended up landing directly on top of me um, while I was launching into the air to to jump out of the tabletop. And um, what ended up happening was it sent me straight to the ground while also being crushed between two dirt bikes and a human being um, on top. And uh, what happened was I guess that my kneecap, my, my left knee had directly hit a rock or something that was in the ground. Something, it, it hit really hard. Um, but I was out like almost instantaneously. Instantaneous, like I didn't even feel any pressure on me. I didn't feel anything touch my body and I was just out. There was nothing, nothing I could do. I didn't even know what happened. Um, so my whole entire body ached except for my neck and my, my left knee. Uh, which is surprising because those were the two things that were really in concern. Eh, not really in concern, because the left knee wasn't really concerned about. Uh, my neck was actually what everybody was scared of because of the fact that the way that he landed on me, he landed directly on my right shoulder, but really close to my neck, and my head compressed off to the left as well. So, like, it looked like my neck could have snapped. Uh, luckily, I was wearing a Liette neck brace, uh, which saved my life, in my opinion. If I If I wasn't wearing that I would not be alive today. Um, I, I feel like my neck probably would have broken right there on the spot and I would have been dead. Um, which thankfully I was wearing that because I know a lot of people that don't wear it and, and they're taking for granted what really is safe to have on. So anyway, um, wake up on the ground and, and I had no idea where I was. Uh, everybody was concerned that I was going to die because of how 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 much brain trauma I had had appeared to have, um, and what actually ended up happening was that I I'd suffered an extremely major concussion to the point where I wasn't able to watch TV or see anything digital for like two months, um, which sucked a lot, quite a lot. Um, but anyway, um, we get to the ER, and uh, in in the in the ambulance the whole time I was I was asking the the guys in there I was like is the other guy okay because I had figured out like what my dad had told me when I was on the ground and I remembered it that um that that the other guy was was in the incident so I I knew there was another guy there sorry I just lost complete train of thought I knew there was another guy in there with me uh, but what I didn't know is that I was actually the critical one that I was on the stretcher and he was actually sitting on a bench sitting up he was sitting up so we're, we're in the ambulance and I'm asking constantly without remembering that I've already asked it if the other guy was okay. Um, so we finally get to the hospital. Uh, every, every bone in my body besides my left knee really hurt and my neck. So we did x-rays on, on my arm, my shoulder, my, my knees, you know, everything really. Uh, and, and it turned out that the only thing that was hurt was my left knee and surprisingly we thought that I had like a, a compound fracture in my right femur, a dislocated shoulder, all that bad stuff that could happen to me um, that would have put me out quite a bad amount um, and that that's not what happened to me I just I had a fractured left knee or kneecap um, until we went to the doctor the next day um, we went to the ortho surgeon so uh, we could see if we were going to need surgery they took a look at the x-rays uh, and and what the guys in the ER failed to notice was the fact that there were actually nine separate pieces of my kneecap. My, my kneecap had it, it literally shattered into nine separate pieces, and that was terrifying to me. I, I found that out, and I was terrified, um, because me as a, as a person, I, w I was always really into motocross, and, and in my opinion, I could be up there really quick right now. I don't think I'd be pro necessarily, but I, I know I'd be uh, I'd probably an A rider at this point in time, how quick I really was. Um, and I, I thought that it had ended my entire dream of, of being a motocross rider. And um, I, I ended up having to get surgery, and, and I recovered very well. Um, I can actually bend my knee fully. And uh, it's it's very nice to know that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the story, guys. Uh, I got landed on, the knee shattered, and uh, it was it was a, it was a really scary experience. Uh, everybody everybody had thought I had died. Um, people still thought I was gonna die within the next couple of days because of the amount of trauma to my head. They thought that maybe I would have like a clot or something. I don't know. Not, I I really have no idea what necessarily people thought, but. But there was a lot of concern that my life was going to be 
going to be taken from that incident. Um, so anyway, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this story. Kind of a sad story, but also kind of an informative story. Uh, I will say about it, I would never wish that upon anybody um, in my entire life. I, I would never want to see anybody go through what I went through with that. Uh, probably uh, probably going to be the worst thing that I ever go through in my life unless, unless something else happens to me. Uh, which, let's hope not, um, I know some people would hope so, but, you know, it's, it's, it, that's the community we're in. But regardless, uh, I hope you enjoyed this story, if you did hit that like button, comment down below what you would like to see in the future, um, if you have anything that you would like me to talk about, if you, if you, if you don't know anything about me, or, or have any suggestions for anything in this series, um, let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna leave my Twitch or not my Twitch, dang, I'm still saying Twitch, um, I'm gonna leave my Twitter, the squad, as well as my gamer tag down below in the description, um, and as always guys, my name is Moto, and I'm out. <laughs>